Hey guys, so today I'm going to be cleaning out my dishwasher. I had to hand wash these dishes, so ignore them. <laughs> They're just sitting up there to dry. Um, I had to wash the dishes that were in there and then unload it and wait for it to cool down so I could clean it. So now I'm going to clean it. I'm just going to share with you what I'm going to attempt to clean it with. Um, I haven't cleaned my dishwasher like scrubbing it with actual items. Um, quite often I buy this large size jug. This is one gallon of vinegar. Um, I get this one at Aldi, I believe, but they sell it at all the stores. Um, I keep the gallon in one in my laundry room and one under my sink. I will pour vinegar um, in my washing machine when I'm washing clothes or to clean my washing machine. I will also pour it in my sinks to kind of help get the food particles that have been in there, kind of get that out of there. And then I also, when I'm washing dishes, I will pour just like a big old jug of lug in there when I'm washing dishes. We've had our dishwasher serviced from our warranty with Lowe's and the guy told me that putting vinegar in there quite often, he didn't really say how often, but he said putting it in there, I would say maybe every week or every two weeks, putting some in there when you're washing dishes, it will help like get all the buildup of the water that it's in your lines. Um, I, we had a problem with having like food or like, I didn't even think it was food, almost like sand that was like stuck onto our dishwasher or our cups and plates and stuff. And he said that's just from like build up and stuff. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to share it. Um, vinegar. I use vinegar and baking soda to do a lot of my cleaning. And I usually add Dawn into that. With a dishwasher, do not, do not use Dawn or dish soap. I did it once as a kid and it was a nightmare. So I've got my baking soda vinegar and then I have like this little scrub brush. It just looks like a super large um, toothbrush. <laughs> and then just in case I have some barkeeper's friend right here that I will use if I need it. So, and it does show that they use it on grills and bathroom, kitchen, cookware and outdoor and they use it in the dishwasher. But I'm gonna try to just stick with baking soda and vinegar. I have a bowl with hot water and a sponge that has been cleaned out to make sure there's no soap in it. Um, but this is our dishwasher. We have a Kenmore, I don't know, Samsung. We have a Samsung. Um, and I will get you down close so you can see. <laughs> okay, I also have a towel right here so that when I am scrubbing, if anything falls through the cracks, it will go down to the towel. All right, this is the part that I see every time I'm unloading and loading my dishwasher. All right here. And these are the items that are like, this stuff will end up on our glasses. Don't know what it is, but it's always there. Um, but here's our little things, whatever you wanna call them. Um, with your machine, you can actually see, look at all that. I'm gonna have to get my husband to use his drill to get that open because there is stuff in there. I think this just pulls right out. Nope, there's a screw. So I'm gonna have to get my husband to do that. But do you see this? That is disgusting. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> like for it to be a dishwasher, why is it so dirty? <laughs> Oh, ew! <laughs> it's so nasty. Okay, so I'm going to scrub all this down, wipe it down. I'm gonna get like a small hand towel so I can wipe things as I'm going. And then once I get this cleaned out, then I'm going to put some baking soda and vinegar in there and then just run, I think it has a clean, nope. No, it doesn't have a clean cycle, but it has a sanitize, so I might do that. Um, and I do that probably once a month, every two months. Look at this. Oh, there's stuff stuck in here. Oh my goodness, okay. So yeah, so let's get to uh, scrubbing away. Okay, I went ahead and got the drill myself. <laughs> I 
don't want to wait four hours. Okay, so here is this little mesh thing that was on top. I don't even know what's collected in there, but it's gross. And then there's this piece. It's not too bad. And then in here we have this stuff. Look, you guys, y'all are like really close friends if I'm showing you. This looks like something part of the washer. So we're going to get all that clean, cleaned out. Looks like a bunch of buildup in there. I have some long toothpicks I might use. Oh, look. How do I get stuff out of here? Oh my goodness. All right, so I have some like long toothpicks and maybe I can get that stuff out, but like, I'm afraid to take it apart. Okay, so I'm gonna start cleaning this out and then I'm gonna soak these in some hot soapy water and then I'll make sure they're really rinsed out before I put them back. Ew, um, but yeah, let's get started. Like she, every time it's open, she just climbs back there and sits. I can't keep her away. Okay, so I have a toothpick. I'm gonna just see what's all in here. Oh, it's like I don't know what that is. So that was clogged. This one is clogged. Oh shoot! Huh, that's smart. Crap! I don't know how to. screws and there's some like stuff in there so I'm gonna try to like pick this stuff out and while this one and the other one is soaking all right I'm just gonna let it hang in there I don't know if I can get this one off mm, I don't think so I can get that one off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I always have a bottle of, this is like half vinegar or 90% vinegar, a little bit of water. I use this to like clean things on my counter and stuff like that. So what I've done is I'm just, I've already scrubbed everything. So I'm just gonna go back and put more baking soda and then I'm just gonna spray the vinegar on it. I need more vinegar. So it can do its thing. And then I'm just going to close it and let it sit like this for like, I don't know, an hour. And I've got all throughout the sides right here. Don't <laughs> So I'm going to put it back together. I wanted to share how nasty this is. Do 
you see all that stuff? It was all in here. Now, I can't get all this tiny things off right here. Like, the stuff is, I think it's like burnt on there or something. But this little mesh thing is super thin, so I'm afraid to like dig too much. Um, but I did clean all both sides. It's been soaking for about an hour and a half. Um, so I'm going to put it all back together. And... Uh, I'm gonna wipe down the sides before I wash it maybe after because it will be all steamy So I think I might open it before it like steam dries it and then wipe down Like these edges where they would be like hotter if that makes any sense <laughs> So I'm just gonna put it back together. I'm not gonna show that because that's kind of boring and then we'll wash it All right I'm just gonna put I put everything back in there And that's all I do I just pour a bunch in there and let it do its thing. I'm not gonna put detergent in there, and I do have the little rinse stuff in there. I don't have a way to cut that feature off, but I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna do sanitize and start. Okay, it's not leaking, I just leave the towel right there. So I drained it. And, oh, it looks so much cleaner. Okay. So this is all cleaned up under the little plastic piece right there. The mesh looks so much better. It's dripping, so I don't want to put my camera in there. This side is nice and clean. There's like a piece of plastic right here. Oh, glass. That's from one of my bowls. Okay. Um, this I just need to wipe down because this is just leftover baking soda. So I'm just going to spray that and then wipe it so it doesn't get too dried on there. But it's super clean. The sides are super clean. Perfect. Awesome. So my tip for you, Google your, your dishwasher. You can usually check for like the codes and stuff for the manual and it can tell you where like filters are and how to take it apart um, to kind of find like where filters and stuff are. But it's I'm hoping this will help with getting anything stuck on it. What do you think, Hannah? It's nice and clean. Does it look any different? <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.